Well, this is Pony Prepper Bill. I'm here at uh, Bass River State Forest and Wharton State Forest Line. And it is right here. And we can see that. Another forest fire. New tonight, crews are responding to a wildfire burning in Ocean County. This is in the Bass River State Forest in Little Egg Harbor Township, just east of the Garden State Parkway. So far, there are no reports of any injuries. It's supposedly in Bass River, and we got an alert, or my wife got an alert somewhere. I don't know if it was Facebook or one of those things, or the town chat. We've been smelling smoke, smelling stuff, and we just thought somebody was barbecuing or burning trash or something like that. Well, evidently, there's a forest fire in Bass, Bass River Township, or Bass River State Forest. And I came out my house. It's smoky in the back. It looked kind of orange in certain areas. So I went for a ride, and it's creeping. I stopped at the gas station. The guy said he's thinking it's going south. But they got a lot of roads closed off. There's only one road back into my house, the back way. I don't think it's close enough to evacuate yet, but some people are packing up. I've been seeing campers and shit flying out of here. People got trailers. People got trailers loaded up. So I went to Coil Field and the Warren Grove bombing range to go up top to look. You can see smoke in the distance and we don't really have the regular local news, so it's hard for me to find out what's going on other than YouTube and word of mouth from neighbors. But it doesn't look like it's that close to our house yet. It's a couple miles away. But the map that they have on the internet shows the path it's going, and it's headed right towards our house. Right now, it's real calm. It was breezy a minute ago. Until the helicopters just landed, I'm over here at Coil Field. As you can see, the smoke gets real thick. You can feel the ash, you can smell it and taste it. Uh, they're filling up another water truck over there. And this is right, right at the end of my, at the end of the uh, runway is like three or four miles is my house. The wind shifted. It was going south, but now the wind shifted, and now it's blowing towards my house. It's quite a few miles away, so. But last night, I think in four hours it went. It took it almost eight, nine, nine hundred acres or a thousand acres. So, the sun pops, comes out here and there, pops through the uh, the smoke, and then the wind picks up, and then it it dies down. But it was a blue sky, which is over there. But you got this black smoke coming. And from the, I tried filming from the top of uh, uh, the Warren Grove bombing range, because you can see real far. But with the sun and the haze and the smoke, you really couldn't see. You can see it with your eyes, but you can't really see it in the camera. But it looks like there's two or three fires, or two or three areas where it's producing more smoke. But a couple minutes ago, I couldn't even see that tree line. All right, so I just got home. I had to take the long way. because so I left. I went to the two places to film and see what's going on. The two good places, or three or four good places, you could see the smoke. You couldn't really see any fire, but you could see the, the different colors of smoke. Uh, it was on by the parkway or the expressway. Another one was a bridge, and there's no way to pull over and film without getting run over. But I went to Coil Field. I just came from there. I had to get gas, but on the way home, I was coming the other way, and they got all the roads closed off. So I had to backtrack and go a different way. 
So, that was like 50 freaking miles out of the way. But they got jets, they got planes. I don't know what the jets are doing. But the helicopters have been flying over and spraying stuff. I don't know if you can see the sky. It's... I don't know which way it shifted at this point. But earlier when I left, it was real smoky here, and it's not smoky now. So, you hear the helicopters? That's one of the fire helicopters up there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that or not. So anyway, I've been working on the ambulance. The bug out vehicle is not bug out worthy at this point. So I want to get into another video and I'll show you what I've been talking about or what I've been doing. So all the stuff that's been going on, uh, we've been prepping more than we usually normally buy. We've been buying extra. Uh, my main bug out vehicle, the ambulance here, I thought it had running, I thought it was working pretty good, but now I got a charging problem again. And I got another generator from a guy, but it looks like it was taken apart. I put a meter on it. It's not charging. It's not putting out any power. So I got another... A newer voltage regulator for this, a solid state one they say is better than the old. I had like the original on here. So this was sitting on the back burner for the longest time. And this is like one of the main bug out vehicles we got. The neighbors are getting ready to bug out because of the fire. And we got the pickup truck, but the last forest fire we had here, what, two years ago I think it was? was right over there and it was getting real close and they said that we would have like an hour possibly an hour to evacuate I didn't have this at the time I don't think I don't remember I think I just saw the deuce and a half but I had the pickup truck but nobody was home I was here by myself nobody was home well now with this fire coming I got uh, my stepdaughter and her husband they live with us they went Atlantic City for her birthday so it's just me and my wife the pigs the chinchillas so if we do have to bug out what the original plan was you know my wife drives to pick up we put everything we can in the pickup truck and then I fill the ambulance up with all the emergency food uh, the water supply all that stuff so now this isn't charging so this is going to have to sit and I kind of had a feeling it might not the generator I had wasn't producing but you know with all the stuff going on you know we've been buying more freeze-dried food we've been prepping more buying more food this has been sitting now the forest fire it might not happen we might not I don't think it's getting that close but if it does we do have to bug out it's all in the pickup truck it's just me and my wife all in the pickup truck. This is going to have to sit here. So, I made a mistake. I should have been putting, I should have fixed this before. So, I think in the next two or three weeks, I'm going to have to order a generator for this. I didn't want to because they're a lot of money. But, it is what it is, and I'm going to make a video. I'm going to switch cameras, and I want to make a video on something that I want to tell you. This is Piney Prepper Bill. Today I want to talk about the new, you got the jab, now you don't have to wear a mask. My wife and I went to the store today, and we're shopping, and of course, you know, you walk halfway across the parking lot, and you see people with their masks on, it's like, oh, I forgot, I got to go back to the car. Go back, you put your mask on, you walk in. A lot of people were giving us dirty looks and stares, and I noticed it, but I just didn't really pay attention to it. And when we left, you know, we're putting stuff in the car, you know, well, on the back of the truck, throwing it, 
groceries in the back. And people walking by with their carts just kind of like looking at you like you're nuts. So we get in the car. My wife said, did you notice anything? I said, no. Oh, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. She said a lot of those people weren't wearing masks. So come to find out if you got the jab, you don't need to wear the mask in a store. So you wearing a mask in a store points to your guilt that you are one of those crazy conspiracy theorists. You are not getting the vaccine that you should, so you shouldn't be shopping here. It's just like in World War II with Hitler and the Nazis. The Jews were made to wear something and, uh, you know, everybody had to wear something to prove who you were and that you weren't one of them. You know, you're singled out. Now, same thing here. If you're not complying, just you going to a store wearing a mask is proof that you're not, you're not vaccinated. Although I guess some people are getting vaccinated, maybe they're still wearing a mask. Why you would still wear a mask and get that thing anyway, it's another subject. But we were getting a lot of dirty looks and didn't know why at first. But then, you know, it came obvious that, you know, you, you don't have to wear a mask. A friend of mine, a sound man that I toured with years ago, haven't heard from him in a while. I text, how are you and your wife doing? And he said, we're doing great. We just moved. We're opening up the pool. We're having a party. You got to come over. We're all vaccinated. We're having a, vac a vaccine party. Well, I said, well, I haven't been vaccinated. And they're like, why not? You know, you got to get your vac vaccination. I said, I'm not, and I won't. Well, we had a discussion back and forth, and I'm crazy. Uh, you know, until I get vaccinated, I'm not allowed over there. This is going to get worse. Your friends and family are going to get this, and you're the one that's wearing the mask all the time. And I see a lot of fights. I see, not really riots, but I see people getting, in my mind, I see people getting beat up, trying to get into a store, leaving a store, in parking lots, and this is just what I'm thinking. Because this is just step one, phase one. This is just starting. They're opening things up, and if you get the vaccine, you don't have to wear a mask. This is just starting. So the more people aren't wearing the mask, and the more of us that are left after the fact wearing a mask, that's going to be a problem. So what are your thoughts on that? How far do you think this is going to go, and how bad do you think this is going to get? i got more things I want to talk about in another video, but I want to keep an eye on this sky in case we do have to get out of here because of the forest fire. It looks pretty good right now. The sky's blue. The wind calmed down. So, so this is Pony Prepper Bill. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen and how bad do you think this is going to get, and what are you going to do about it? Are you going to comply? Are you going to not wear the mask and say you got the vaccine, or are you going to get the vaccine and let me know what you think. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.